Right guys, so it is nearly time for World Strongest Man. Three events today, so it, we're going to be doing sandbag, kind of like ste steeplechase sandbags. So if you were at Glasgow, you would know it's basically two sandbags over a yoke. And then we're going to use the Cerberus Strength Shield shaped sandbag and just do one run with it once we do the over the yoke, those two. And then we'll have a maybe a two or three minute break and then just do 10 meters of the, the shield sandbag, drop it, pick it up in 10 meters and that's that done. Then we'll be going on to yoke by itself for quite, quite heavy two or three runs. We'll be doing, obviously it's keg toss. We have got a keg here. We might try and set up one or two throws so we can hit the mats, but we'll see. But and then we're going to be doing Atlas Stones. I'm feeling ridiculously strong, ridiculously fit as well now. Feels like I was in 21, 22. It's no word of a lie. My recovery has gone up 100%. That's because we've added something that we've never added before. I've now started talking to psychologists again as well, which is incredible. So, but yeah, just these wee things have really helped me. So let's get it on today. Um, try and get this smashed out and get spicy. That's, that's a hellish event, that's always the hardest one. But yeah, every week it's getting better and better. Good thing about this kind of part of prep, it's like, um, you know, probably got another two weeks of hard training. The last two weeks is just all mentally, you know. Your body, like this, I had an, an incredible deadlift session, but physically I was drained. But mentally, you know, that's what I said, I learned. I'm learning a lot more stuff mentally over the last few weeks and it's really helped me so if I can get this two weeks done then the deal is going to be incredible because yeah I feel really good you know to start with off with loading not as warm and stuff it's good it gets a kind of heart rate up you need to kind of be psyched up for it it's, it's harder than just going and pressing a log and stuff but yeah I'm just going to keep getting the head down stay focused I'm going to Welsh Shores man one to dominate my group and two to win three times Welsh Shores man you know I'm confident myself and uh then we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it big boys. Let's do it. Right. This one, it's gonna be no belt, nothing, just like this is just a nice quick pick up, bang, get it, and just run back to this line, drop it, that's it done. Then we'll get on to the big bad super yolk. I prefer yolks in breakfast, no. <laughs> So guys, we are going to be doing super yoke now. So as you can see, I'm going to load this bad boy up. We're going to just uh, 400-ish, around about there. My plan is to do two sets. So it will just be from here down to the end of the warehouse. And then that's one set. We have a five minute, 10 minute rest. Then we come back. Like I said, depending, it might, 400, 400 to 4, 20, 30, maybe might even go heavy. We'll see, you might do two big ones and then a, like maybe a seven, eight meter run, but we'll see how, how this feels first, so let's get it on. There's tacky on the back of this. Feels like there's tacky on it. Do the yoke there. Train it a bit different. I've been training it with yoke and frame together. And then this Tuesdays are more just for distance. The last few weeks I've just been like 300, 340, 360 range just to kind of get used to the weight again. And I'm talking 450, 455, give or take. So 
455 yoke under 10 seconds is good and then 400 before that as well so it was good I wanted to put some weight on it just to kind of see how I was and yeah it was uh, comfy so next week we'll probably keep the same weight and just get more used to you know trying to get a bit more faster just uh, yeah just kind of tidying up a wee bit right now I'm just trying to tidy up a few things and uh, we'll be good to go so that was a confident booster there today so that's good but um, now we're going on to chuck some sandbags slash maybe a keg depending if we can land it on a mat and Tom's got good actually so you can put the cover under but we'll, we'll see if not it'll just be sandbags just now so let's do it we soon find out if it's going to be do or die soon find out that's scary and done. Just like lifting the pedal on the beach. Oh, so easy. Right guys, so that is the events done. Really happy with stones there. Obviously setup's not ideal here, but but I'm uh, training them higher than they're gonna be at worlds and yeah, best I can do and then that 210 double to finish. Um, you know, I, I've been doing it at the lower platform, which for me is pointless because we're all just hiring that. And 210's been feeling really easy, so I just thought, stuff, let's get um, two reps, second highest platform. So, and with what I've been working on with, you know, psychologists and stuff, it's been, that felt like literally a pebble on the beach. I think, you know, if I, if I really wanted to, there's four or five reps there, but yeah, the two reps looked exactly the same. Looked like it was just warming up, so very confident, very good. I think train stones are actually good. That's what I've been doing, you know, every year. It's set from obviously last year, but you know, it's just I really think it's important when you train something like stones. You really want to feel the full extension, especially on heavier stones like that, because if you can put a 200, 180, 210 up to a platform that's two levels higher than the one you're doing in competition, then it's a piece of piss. I mean, a 210 like that fully extended is very hard because you know tacky could go wrong the pop you have to get to extend your full body with 210 sitting on your lap it's very hard to do but yeah very happy with that 
another very successful training session. Very, very happy. So we're going to go home now, get the recovery done that I've been doing for the last, well, since Arnold's, or just two weeks after Arnold's, which is making me feel unbelievable. You know, I've started running as well, which, you know, I would never, ever, I always used to dish running and, you know, but when you run properly and use it as part of your recovery, I've been doing it the last few weeks and I feel unreal. Um, Strength-wise, I feel like my fitness is coming back and, yeah, so I'll be doing that tomorrow, which the video for that recovery stuff will be out, or fitness and recovery stuff will be out soon. We're doing a whole series of that, so, yeah, I feel unreal mentally, I feel unreal physically and, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get over to Wild Strawers, man, and uh, show the people what I've been working on, because something big, fit and sexy is coming. Guys, thank you for watching. Let's all put love to Luke for Europe Stars, man. Wish him the best. He's coming back with a title. Then it'll be UK, Europe, and then all we have to do now is get the world's back. Back home where she belongs. She's been missing for 365 days, and uh, I don't like it when things go missing. Guys, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Boom.